And sharks in our waters causing quite the stir on social media this month. We all know they're in the Gulf, but why do they seem to be coming so close to shore and in large groups? WKRG News 5's Blake Brown talks with a local shark expert for answers. <laughs> Hammerhead sharks circling boats this month at Perdido Pass in Orange Beach. It's surprising to many of us, but not for the sharks. This is their home. We have about 50 species of sharks in the Gulf of Mexico. Tiger sharks, bull sharks, and black tip sharks are all here, but in this video, it's these six hammerhead sharks in shallow water close together drawing the most attention. Dr. Sean Powers, senior marine scientist at the Dolphin Island Sea Lab and a professor at the University of South Alabama, says this isn't as common as you might think. Hammerhead sharks usually form these mass uh, schools, but we only see that like in deep water coral reefs and everything. So to see them in the shallow water areas right off Orange Beach is really amazing. Stingrays and smaller fish drawing these sharks into cooler water closer to shore in May and June each year. Dr. Powers says once the water temperature rises, they tend to move to deeper parts of the Gulf. Sharks are really sensitive to temperature. They want it not too cold, not too hot. And you know, once we hit late July, August, it gets really hot and the sharks are going to have to be in that deeper, cooler water. He tells us the term shark is intimidating to a lot of people, but he says these hammerheads are rarely associated with any attacks. In most encounters, their sandpaper-like skin could scrape you and their tail might knock you down. That's why Dr. Powers urges you to observe from a safe distance. There's really no documented fatalities from a hammerhead shark. There are a few reports of bites from hammerhead sharks, but since their mouth is underneath them, it you know, you have to kind of work at them to, to get bit. These hammerhead sharks can weigh about 170 pounds. A great hammerhead is the largest of its kind, some growing to 1,000 pounds or more. Those will be way, way offshore when they get that, that big. Dr. Powers knows not everyone wants to see them, but he says having a healthy shark population is a good thing. Having too many stingrays, for instance, would pose greater risk for swimmers. In Baldwin County, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.